it's now been revealed what Philip really thought about that interview. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. If you haven't already, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get into this video. Now, I know I speak quite fast, guys. Some of you guys have said it here and there that I do speak I do naturally speak quite fast. There is an option as you watch um, a YouTube video where you can slow down the speed. So if you feel like I speak fast, it's really hard for me to stop that because I just I naturally have always spoken quite fast. You can slow down and speak a little bit to help you guys um, if you find it hard to misunderstand me or perhaps captions can be or subtitles can be put on the video as well. So we have Philip, um, obviously you passed a couple of days ago, but now his details of what he really thought of that Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah, which has now been revealed. And this is what he's been saying. Philip recently, um, Philip reportedly, sorry, thought that his grandson, um, Harry and Meghan Markle's explosive Oprah interview was nothing but complete, utter madness. Surprise, surprise. Markle sent shockwaves through the royal household when she claimed during the interview that undisclosed members of the family expressed concerns of the colour of Archie's skin. I know from someone close to him that he thought Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah, in, um, with Oprah Winfrey was madness and that absolutely no good would come of it, Brandreth wrote, referring to the Duke of Edinburgh. Now, this was not something surprising because this is exactly how he described to, to me, um, which is what Brandreth is saying, Brandreth, what a name, um, the, the personal TV interviews given by Charles and Diana, Princess of Wales back in 1990s, and that he didn't like any of that either. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex interview with Oprah aired whilst Philip was hospitalised, too bad, but Philip, according to Brandreth, was not bothered by the timing. He was, however, critical of the couple airing their personal matters publicly. The fact that Meghan and Harry interviewed was aired whilst Philip was in hospital did not trouble him. What did worry him was the couple's preoccupation with their own problems and their willingness to talk about them in public. Give TV interviews by all means, he said, but don't talk about yourself. So then what are you talking about? The sun? The weather? Your dress, your outfit, what, what, what else is there for you to speak, and speak about? If you are going through so much, you know, oppression, which I think that is what she's going through from the media, from the institutionalized, you know, racism, from the monarchy, all this stuff is going on. People are even making you cry, like Karen Middleton. All of this is happening. One should feel compelled to talk about their experiences because that in itself is therapeutic, whether it be privately or publicly. Evidently, she tried to solve these matters for two years. Nothing took place. It's as if, you know, we really have to keep defending Megan over and over again because it's like common sense is not what common, it's just not clicking. For some people, guys, common sense is just simply not clicking. And that is what I'm seeing here. And I find it to be quite troubling. I'm not surprised by Philip's remarks and that we thought it was madness, was not necessary and despised of it because he thought the same thing of Diana when she spoke up. But there is power in your truth. There's power in talking about your truth when you've gone through so much pain, when you've gone through so much of a harsh experience, nobody, and not, no matter who the hell you are, even Philip, can even tell you what you should and shouldn't say because it's your own truth and your own journey and you can wish to speak out about it if you wish. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. What are your thoughts? I'm off to the damn gym. Um, I'm going to be trying going at least twice a day because... I just, yeah, listen, the gym is now open and that's what I need. Everybody is queuing up 6 a.m. for the pubs and for going into like, you know, clothing stores and even for the, even for the gym, queuing up. I don't think it's that serious to be queuing up. Um, I feel like you can just wait um, later on in the day and just go at a time when it's not as busy, especially when it comes to the pubs and shopping because the stores will be there throughout the entire week. So why is everybody now queuing? I don't know. But I understand that everybody is in lockdown and they really want to get out and they need to do what they need to do. Let me know your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. Click that button. Click that button. Click that button.